Uh, he is 65 year old male and known as hypertension, diabetes, pan and nasvaritic. Uh, history of ischemic heart disease, cabbage was done in 2009. So are, uh, those are all winners graph, SVG to OM, CERC and LAD. Uh, according to patient, he was compliant to medication. Uh, but, uh, and throughout this year, he uh, remained asymptomatic. There is no symptom, there was no symptoms. Now for last two months, patient has chest pain. Initially, it is CS, CS classification 2, but not at 4. Uh, so, when patient arrives, he is continuous chest pain, even it not uh, improving with nitrates. So, in, uh, initially, we have planned for CT angiogram. Uh, but because of uh, continuous tachycardia, uh, we couldn't done CT. You said he was on optimized treatment. Yes, sir. So, what is optimized medical treatment for a patient who is having angina? Sir, uh, when patient came, he is taking anti ischemic plus nitrates and uh, statins, nitrate, beta blockers. Because these two things are contradictory to each other that his heart rate was very fast, so you are unable to do CT. Yes. And on one hand, you have optimized your medical treatment. Optimized medical treatment, arresting heart rate of? 60, 60 around 60 so how can it be possible you can't get yes. your ct and but your the time? patient he was compliant to medication no, no, but we are saying when we are thinking of planning any intervention in any patient with stable ihd yes. this is a stable kind of ihd cabbage so many years back right now what he's complaining is angina ccs2 according to you it, it, right now it's ccs4 it ccs4 four. is then stable. different from stable to unstable in China. So now you have because you continued it into one year symptom. So then you have to tell me that two years of CCS2 and for last one week, two week, three week. So what was the status of symptom change in that chronology? There's a progressive uh, challenge. So from, from how long he's having this CCS4? Uh, CCS4 is in, in last uh, one week, uh, one to two weeks. It's around uh, CCS2 to 3 in uh, last two months. Before that, patient was asymptomatic. Okay, so 2 to 3 for a few months mm -hmm. and now 4. 4 means resting symptom. Yes. Abhi kya taklif ho rahi hai aapko? Kis waqt ho ta hai? Bas chale se jata ho, baat ho, baat ho, baat ho. Bas chalne mein ho jata hai. Thik hai? Kabhi baithe baithe ya raat ko sone mein? पिछले पिछले एक हफ्ते में कितनी बरतब ऐसा हुआ होगा कि बैठे बैठे या एक दफा ऐसा हुआ कि बैठे बैठे और कितनी देर रहा होगा ठीक है सो वील एग्री दैट नाउ ही इज हैविंग सीसीएस फोर व्हाट इज हिज हार्ट रेट एंड ब्लड प्रेशर राइट नाउ राइट नाउ हिज ब्लड प्रेशर इज अराउंड 1 11070 एंड हार्ट रेट इज 96 एंड यू हैव टोल्ड मी अबाउट हिज एलवी फंक्शन इट्स 50% so he is having normal LV right. function, heart rate of uh, 90. 90. 90. On what treatment he is on right now? Uh, uh, on uh, antihypertensive FSR and anti ischemic low plate, uh, statin, Prescor, and uh, Branula, Concord, beta blocker, 5MG Concord, and Indio. Are you satisfied with this treatment? Uh, uh, also, we can increase uh, beta block. I think we have jumped to second line and third line without optimizing the uh, first line. That is a wrong strategy in a way. First, I personally believe in there is no point in keeping him on when you have a very low pressures, 100, 110 pressures. So why you are putting your pressures or uh, uh, exhausting your pressure on ARB? You need to optimize your drugs which can take off directly ischemia, take care of ischemia, acute ischemia especially. Yes. So high doses of beta blocker and nitrate should be the first as we discussed last time yes. in stable angina. Or maybe calcium channel blocker and beta blocker combination. That should be the first option. And optimizing them. Optimization means heart rate will be 90. So you need to bring it to 60. So at least 10 milligram of bezoprolol should be there. So just increase your bezoprolol. Keep a long-acting nitrate. Is he on any long-acting nitrate? 
सर रेनोला एंड यू एंड यू इंक्रीज द डोज रेनोला इज रेनोलाजी व्हिच इज सेकंड लाइन आफ्टर एग्जॉस्टिंग दीस टू complete heart rate like 60 50 in spite of that you can't increase your beta blocker nitrate optimum dosages and after that even patient is having angina then renolazine and how you choose about whether renolazine evabradin or nicorendil or trimetazidine out of these four how you choose which one as your second line after optimizing beta blocker and nitrates I'm sure. So, if you have pressures available, and your patient heart rates are controlled, then you can add on nicorendin, vasodilators. You have don't have pressures available. Pressures completely taken care. Rate is not there to further bring down. Then renolazine, because cellular level you are taking care of, or trimetazidine. so patient with stable angina his rate is controlled pressure is not going giving you further to add on anything then we will use and similarly if your pressures are borderline and heart rate is still high, high you, then very good because ivabradin is not going to affect your pressure you can't increase your beta blocker because pressures are borderline so then you add on to so that's the way to choose So in this patient, I think first we need to optimize our rate. Now the second question: Why we are doing CT and you in a patient with CCS? Sir, any explanation? Uh, yes, is the uh, chronic. Although uh, we should go for graft study. Ideally, if we have thought of doing intervention, that we have optimized our treatment and still your patient is in CCS four. Then your planning is to intervene rather than just seeing the status. Some people do CT and J prior to doing graft study just for sake of ease. That that will you that will tell you how many of the graft are open and which graft is closed, so that you don't have to use extra dye at that moment for that reason. Because graft जब नहीं मिलता ना कोई, it's very difficult to. because it's a venturi effect which helps your catheter to go into the graft if it's totally occluded there's no flow going there so that's why from arch of aorta it's very difficult to engage graft and especially if your graft graft is occluded right from its origin so it's you are unable to engage it so usme bas catheter ghoomta rehta hai kafi dye usme zaya hoti hai and ultimately you have to do a aorto gram so in those patients it, it's good to get a ct angio first and then go for graft study but in this patient i think that should be the optimizing treatment if you make in this patient ccs 2 medical treatment lv normal yes. stable kind of because this uh, uh, angina which is resting is not mimicking like a non stacs it's mimicking still like a mismatch of demand and supply so even in stable angina if your tachycardia is so much so that kyunki chal ke aate to so iska matlab hai we are unable to control his rate pressure and other thing it's stay still stable but in appropriate treatment right so that we have theek i have one question